In this lesson, we will find four fourth roots of one and we'll discuss properties of the four fourth roots of one. Let x be the four fourth roots of one. Let x be the four fourth roots of one. Fourth roots of one. If that is so then we can write x equal to fourth root of one should be written like this with four as an index in radical form and if we want to write the same thing in exponential form we should write it x equal to one power one by fourth now if we move that power 1 by 4 from right hand side and bring it on the left hand side we will reciprocate it and this will become x4 equal to 1. If so then x4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Of course 1 power 4 is equal to 1 therefore we can write x4 minus 1 power 4 equal to 0 or x2 square minus 1 power 2 square equal to 0. The difference of perfect square formula in algebra is a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b therefore this will be written as x square minus 1 into x square plus 1 equal to 0. Since the product of real numbers can only be equal to 0 if at least one of them is equal to 0 therefore either x square minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus 1 is equal to 0. If x square minus 1 is equal to 0 then x square is equal to 1 and x is equal to plus minus 1. If x square plus 1 is equal to 0 then x square is equal to minus 1 and the roots of this equation are not real because x in this case is equal to plus minus negative 1 square root and this is called iota. So here the four fourth roots of unity are 1 minus 1 iota and minus 1 minus iota. So the four fourth roots fourth roots of 1 are equal to 1 minus 1 iota minus iota and now properties and the first property p1 is that uh, what was the properties again the first property is that sum of all the four fourth roots of unity is 0 so we'll find sum of sum of four fourth roots is equal to one minus one plus iota minus iota and obviously if this gets cancelled one with minus one and iota will get cancelled with minus iota this will give you us the sum equal to zero p2 the second property and the second property is that the real four fourth roots of unity are additive inverse of each other what are the real roots the real real roots are one and minus 1. 
which obviously are additive inverse, which are which are additive inverse because one plus minus one is equal to zero. That is the definition. So the real roots, the four, uh, the real roots of uh, four fourth roots are additive inverse of one. And uh, if we take the third property, now we will be talking about the complex four fourth uh, complex roots of of one. Complex fourth roots of one, one are iota and minus iota. And we just want to prove that they are conjugate. What is definition of a conjugate? Conjugate numbers are in fact in complex numbers if z is equal to a plus iota b is a complex number that belongs to c then z bar that is the conjugate is equal to a plus minus iota b that belongs to c or we can clearly write it a minus iota b belonging to c is called is called conjugate is called conjugate of of z as z time z bar is equal to a plus iota b time a minus iota b is equal to a square minus iota square time b square this is equal to a square minus minus 1 b square is equal to a square plus b square anyway here z of course is conjugate of uh, iota is conjugate of minus iota so that is property number three and p4 the fourth property is now we are going to find the product of four fourth roots of one so the product of four fourth roots product of four fourth roots of one is equal to one time minus one time iota time minus iota so this will be equal to minus one time minus iota square this is equal to minus one time minus minus one because iota square is equal to minus one this means this is minus one time plus one so the answer is equal to minus one and this is exactly what we needed to prove so these are the four properties of the four fourth roots of unity and the most important property among these uh, four fourth roots of unity are that the product of four fourth roots is equal to minus one and the first property in which it says that sum of the roots is equal to zero and one thing else what we have discovered in this that if iota is a root then minus iota is also a root of the equation complex roots in fact always occur in pairs and we will discuss this topic at some other time in the same chapter